Who's your editor over there? Well, please be seated. And thank you very much. Be seated. Members of the Congress and distinguished guests and ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the White House on this day of recognition and appreciation of America's German heritage. In 1683, a small group of German families set out on a journey that took them from the Rhine River in Germany to the Schuylkill River outside of Philadelphia. And there they established what became a rock-steady foundation for the seven million countrymen to follow. Now, over 300 years later, the United States and Germany stand united as partners, allies, and most importantly, friends. And today, German-American bonds of friendship are stronger than ever. One magnificent symbol of the bonds that tie our two great peoples together is the German-American Friendship Garden. That symbol of internally renewing growth and strength will be dedicated this autumn here in the Capitol. In its growth, our own commitments to the well-being of America and Germany shall be cultivated and nurtured. For 40 years, our shared principles of democracy and liberty have nourished and sustained one another, and due in large part the resolve of the Federal Republic of Germany and the commitment of its people to democracy and freedom, our negotiations with the Soviet Union proved successful, and I was able to sign the INF Treaty with Chairman Gorbachev. Unfortunately for Germans as well as Americans, a horrendous scar continues to mar the hopes and prospects of a united Germany free of totalitarian shackles. I'm speaking, of course, about the cruel and unnatural division of Europe and Germany, which is symbolized by the Berlin Wall. The wall that stands as a gash, dividing those who hope and those who despair, those who are free to do as they may and those who do only what the state will allow. About a year and a half ago, I stood at the Brandenburg Gate and called for the removal of this evil wall. And now, once again, I implore those in the East to remove this stain on human decency. The greatest flowering of moral, spiritual, and economic growth ever witnessed by this universe is being experienced by those who are truly liberated and who are truly free. Release those bonds, and someday there will be one united and free Germany and the United States will be even further enriched by the great German people. So I thank you all. God bless you all. And now, I think maybe we could have a few words from President Vogel of the German Bundesrat. Mr. President, ladies and gentlemen, it's a great honor and pleasure for me as president of German Bundesrat to, to represent the Federal German Republic on the occasion of this German American's day. My visit shows once more how deeply our two countries and peoples are linked in friendship. I am delighted, Mr. President, to meet you again after the pleasure to welcome you at Hambach Castle in my state of Rhineland-Palatinate in June 80, 1985 during your official visit to the Federal Republic of Germany. The Federal President, Mr. Weizsäcker, the Federal Chancellor, Mr. Kohl, and the Federal Foreign Minister, Mr. Genscher, and the President of the German Bundestag, have emphasized in their messages on the occasion of today's German-American Day the importance of the traditional close ties between our two countries. The presence of the American forces in Germany is a convincing token of this friendship. Rammstein is just another example for the determination of our American friendship to stand up for us. The American nationals who have lost their lives in this accident have stood for this friendship. 
I feel very honored to be with you today when German American Day is celebrated for the second time. This day reminds us how German immigrants contributed to the development of the United States of America. It relates to the anniversary of the arrival of the first large group of German emigrants from the town of Greyfeld, who settled 300 years ago in Pennsylvania. Let me add that over the centuries, an especially large number of citizens from various regions of my own state of Reno Palatinate emigrated to the United States of America. Let me express, Mr. President, my heartfelt thanks that you again followed the joint resolution of Congress and solemnly declared the 60 October as a German American Day. All Germans thank, thank the American President and the American people for this sign of friendship between our both countries. And we hope that this friendship is a good, has a good future for next year, for the next century, and for all future. Thank you. Honored guests, representatives of the German American community. German Americans throughout the United States are with us in spirit today, Mr. President, and we proudly witness the celebration of you signing the proclamation declaring German American Day. Our hearts are filled with pride, and we consider the positive influence of both the humble German Americans and their descendants, and of the growth and development of our beloved homeland, the United States. Mr. President, we also appreciate everything you have done to maintain and strengthen the ties of German-American friendship. On behalf of the German, United German-American Committee, or VDK USA, the Storm Society of America, the German-American National Congress, and all German Americans. And as a token of gratitude, it is my pleasure to present to you, Mr. President, this beautiful Hummel from Goebel called Harmony in Four Parts. This fine work of art <laughs> is dedicated to you and inscribed. German Americans thank President Ronald Reagan, October 6, 1988. And Mr. President, I'd like to thank you Say farewell, auf Wiedersehen, and God bless you and the First Lady. Thank you very much. Well, thank you very much. Well, I'm just delighted to have this and greatly honored. And on a lighter moment, I spoke about the gash, the scar, the, the wall through Berlin. In a lighter moment, I am going to tell you of a story that I understand is being told behind that wall. And that is that there, a young lady caught his eye. He was fascinated with her. He wanted to do something to get her approval. And after what he could do that she would like the most, and she said, tear down the wall. And he said, tear down the Oh, he said, I know. You want to be alone with me.